Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we are reviewing this little Hornby concrete plate layers hut. Now this is my first building review on this channel um, in two years, which is kind of amazing. But um, yeah, so it's a very nice model. I got it for Christmas uh, 2014, which is about a month ago now, unbelievably. Um, and just to tell you the dedication that goes into this channel... Um, today, where I live in Wellington, it's meant to be the most, or well, the hottest day of the year. And it's something ridiculous, like near 30 degrees outside. Now, if any Australians are watching this, you'll be going 30 degrees is nothing. Well, for a Kiwi, that's incredibly hot. Um, so, at the, at the ready, I've got a big glass of water there. Um, ice water, I might add, so, yeah. So we've got this uh, concrete plate layers hut, very nice uh, Scaledale packaging. Um, it's Hornby R9512. I believe they're still available, don't quote me on that. Um, but there is a sort of what the building is. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice packaging and then underneath you've got just barcodes and not suitable for under three years. So to open this up there is a little tab. And it sort of you you are greeted with big polystyrene box or blocks rather, and so there's the building obviously, and then you've got the sort of protective cover thing. So now this is sort of like one of those models where once it's on the layout, it's on the layout. You know you're not going to put it back in the box. I don't know. I like to keep the packaging. See, it's just sort of like a big dip of polystyrene um, and yeah it's sort of like all the packaging sort of tucked into the innards of the building and you are greeted with this lovely little plate layers hut isn't it lovely I thought it was very lovely the only thing that I have to criticize the window frames are slightly out if you look at that but hey you know from from a distance you're not going to notice that um, so it is a resin building, got a very nice sort of roof texture and um, sort of blacky wash applied to it. Um, and yeah, the windows are all clear, like you can see through them, like, ah, oh, there's my finger. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, as I said, it's concrete plate layers hut, so highlighting all the rust and things. And um, a wooden door with lovely picked out hinges. You could go over with a little bit of black and pick out those hinges. Hmm, that's a little tempting, but, um, yeah, so, and on the bottom, look, you can see it's all resin inside, as you can see, made in China, Hornby, Homi <laughs> Hornby Hobbies Limited 2011, so it's, you know, a few years old, but, um, yeah, it's very nice, again, like my Hornby 12-ton barrier van, this came from the UK, um, and, you know, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, it came all the way from halfway across the world that's it's pretty cool and now it's here in New Zealand on Cruisley Road so um yeah so uh I will get a couple of shots of the trains passing this new building and I'll just explain a little bit about where it is and why it's there so we'll nip over to the layout and uh we'll take a look So, I'm here with the, uh, the, uh, what is it? <laughs> the, uh, line side hut, plate layers hut, that's what the word I was looking for. And it just lives on this little base I created of just garden soil, sort of sifted through and resorted into a fine paste and then, well, paste, sort of a powder and then just, um, some... Uh, brown paint over it because it sort of dried a bit multicolored, let's say. And um, I sort of added, yeah, sort of a path, and then there's a path going across the lines. And um, yeah, sorry, but this clip is handheld because I can't really get this gigantic tripod in there. Um, and my room's a bit of a mess, so it's a little awkward for me. Um, but yeah, so that's where it lives. And um, right now I'll get a couple of shots of the Class 25 passing it with a rather long mixed goods train so yeah thank you for watching guys 
please remember to like, comment, subscribe, uh, like me on Facebook as Cruelty Road Model Railway. And as always, guys, from the hottest place in New Zealand right now, see you later.